Welcome back, boomers. Now begins the second season of Zombie Go Boom, and today we have a very special treat for you. We're having our The Walking Dead special. So today, we will be testing a screwdriver, a rock, and something that lies within this bucket. What could it be, you ask? Well, the answer is one week old rotted pig intestines and entrails and hearts and livers that I will soon be dousing my body with to see if I can stand the smell of rotted flesh on me. Zombie Go Boom starts now. Using real life settings, we put the weapons, everyday objects, and theories to the test, empowering you with the skills and knowledge you need to survive. <laughs> Be a hero. Zombie go boom. Kick undead ass. First up, the screwdriver. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. A standard six inch screwdriver, first used in the late Middle Ages. The screwdriver remains one of the most common tools used on both household and professional projects. Will it have the power to skewer a zombie's brain? Or will you be the one getting screwed? In an episode of The Walking Dead, Andrea was attacked by a zombie in Dale's camper, and she used a screwdriver, much like this one, to pierce through its eye and break into its brain, effectively killing it. Well, we've recreated this little test. Chuck Murray will be handling the screwdriver today. And he will be using it against a blood-filled skull analog covered in ballistics gel to simulate human flesh, muscle, and bone. You ready, Chuck? Absolutely. Let's do it to it. All right. Dude, well done. Those were incredibly effective hits just over and over and over again. You got right into the eye, didn't you? And it was surprisingly easy. Excellent. Well, should we uh, check out the high-speed footage? Let's do it. All right, here we go. All right, no. Oh, oh. bam. Jam straight in, and you keep going. I love that you kept going. Thank you for continuing to go. That is so gruesome. Look at it, just crying blood, man. You got <laughs> yeah. it. I'd say it's toast. Yeah, absolutely toast. Quick, efficient, brutal. Too bad you have to get really close, but it is effective. You have to get close. You have to get bloody. And look how yeah. close your your the the bottom of your hand comes to the mouth yeah. every single time you get. If you don't kill it right away, there's a big chance you're gonna get bit. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous, but it works. And then the, you know, that's to scramble the brain. Of course. <laughs> the brain scrambling going on. Good. <laughs> Scrambled brains. Yeah. That screwdriver was wicked. But now we're going to check out the rock. Now you may remember that Rick was being chased through the woods by a couple of zombies and he managed to take them out by bashing them repeatedly with a rock. Uh, so I guess let's take a look at the tail of the tape. A limestone rock. Measuring six inches long by three inches thick and weighing in at a whopping five pounds. But can it be used to crush the skulls of the undead? All right, let's rock. So you can see the tremendous damage done. Look at that. Just smashed straight through, um, cracking massive chunks of this skull out. It completely blew out the back of the skull and just shattered it into a, a bunch of pieces. Uh, and it looks like on the rock, I hit probably right about there, which is I think the best place I could have hit it using that because it's kind of a, a pointed area. Uh, let's, uh, let's check out that slow-mo footage. I would love to see that. <laughs> Oh man, it went clear through. There was just no stopping. This rock, I think, is only five pounds, but uh, it did considerable, considerable damage to that skull. That was amazing. And it didn't take much force at all. In Season 1, Episode 3 of The Walking Dead, Rick and Glenn had to cover themselves in zombie guts in order to escape the horde and find vehicles. Well, we decided to replicate that little test, so what did we do? Well, we got a bucket, we put inside the bucket 
pig entrails, hearts, and livers, and blood, and let them rot for a week. So now, we are going to douse ourselves in this substance, because they say that pig flesh most closely resembles that of humans. So I guess it's time to crack this little baby open and see if we kick the bucket. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, that is foul. Oh, oh my god. It smells so delightful. Ugh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I'm not doing that again. Okay, Mandy, let's do it. So, I have to, oh, it's cold. Oh, god. So, I, I have to, uh, I have to be able to stand here for six minutes because that's how long the cinematic took. Actually, I think it was six minutes and 30 seconds. So, if I can last six minutes and 30 seconds with this pork grossness on me, then uh, I will have, I will certainly have been able to cope with the smell in order to survive the zombie horde. Wow, that smells really, really bad. Oh my god, it's so meat, meat delicious. Oh, this is nasty. Oh god, oh my god. There you go. Thanks. All over. Thank you. All right, Jim, you're almost done. What are your thoughts? Um, well, it's definitely one of the more disgusting things I've ever done in my life. Um, the smell is just so, so, so foul. Um, but I'm, I'm holding it in. I'm keeping my, keeping my lunch. It's still in my stomach. I haven't lost it yet. And I don't think I will, to be perfectly honest. And in a survival situation, you're gonna have so much adrenaline pumping. I mean, you know, people eat bugs in the wilderness, for God's sakes. I think I can r walk around with some zombie guts on my body for a little bit, if it keeps me alive. Yeah, whip that over my head. Oh. oh, I never thought it would be so nice just to stand without intestines on my body. That was intense. Well, it looks like the Walking Dead people really did get it right. They did their research and they found out that you could, in fact, kill a zombie with a screwdriver and a rock. And even though they're, they're certainly not the most choice weapons, if that's all you have at hand, they will work. Also, uh, you will probably, if you have a stronger stomach and resolve, be able to handle uh, zombie guts spread all over your body, just in case you find yourself in that sort of situation. All right, now. You definitely will want to join us next week, because we will be testing out the weapon that Glenn uses to kill a zombie in the drugstore. So please do not miss that episode. I'm your host, Jim Goza, for Zombie Go Boom. Happy hunting.